Okay, we got this question. An offshore oil rig is located at point B, which is 10 kilometers from point B directly on shore. An oil pipeline is to be constructed from point A to C and then an oil refinery at point D. What is the minimum cost of the pipeline? If it costs $9,000 per kilometer to lay under the sea and $3,000 per kilometer on land, the length between B and D is separated by 50 kilometers. So the first step is always to draw a diagram to represent the situation, which I have done neatly here. Okay, so we want to get to point A from point D. It goes a certain distance on land and then the remaining distance under the sea. Now, point A, B, C, these three points, they form a right angle triangle and that's because it says directly on shore. And forming a right angle triangle, immediately you're gonna be thinking Pythagoras. So Pythagoras will, Pythagoras' theorem will be coming in uh, to the calculations. Um, point B and D is separated by 50 kilometers and point B and C is separated by some distance with the remaining distance running 50 minus X from C to D. Now, I've set this question to many people before and they've tried, all they've done is go from B to D, 50 kilometers times that by 3,000 and the remainder under uh, the C of three thousand, uh, nine thousand multiplied by ten. No, it's not going to work. There's an optimal distance, optimum meaning the cheapest way, and that lie that point lies somewhere along the fifty kilometer line, and it's definitely not the whole way. I have also seen people go straight from B to D using Pythagoras' theorem, and that just doesn't get you the answer. As either way it's still going to be quite expensive and yeah so what we need to do after drawing the diagram is to draw uh write is to attack the questions and my seven steps that i always use when dealing with optimization and step one is to draw a diagram step two is to write an equation of what you have been asked to minimize or maximize and in this case we are looking for a cost function uh, the cost function will be three thousand dollars being multiplied by 50 take away x and that is being added with nine thousand dollars which is the cost under the c and this is where pythagoras comes in uh, uh, 10 squared plus x squared okay and that is as far as you can go for step two um actually what i will do is expand it out so it becomes a bit easier further down so you're going to get 150,000 minus 3,000 x and I'm going to convert the square root into its power form. Uh, 10 squared plus x squared. That's to the power half. And that's step two complete. Step three, there's no constraint. So, no constraint. So there's no budgets, no specific lengths you we've been given or but um things we have to keep in mind. We can just skip step three. We move to step four. Um, again, not much to it apart from rewriting it as the step five will be taking the derivative of that function. So uh, what I'm going to do is just put him as uh, times 10 to the power 3 minus 3 times 10 to the power 3 plus 9 times 10 to the power 3 um, 
And the reason I'm doing this is because the numbers are going to get very big. Okay, so step five is to take the derivative of the cost function. Oh, there's an x there, by the way. Yep, and that's a... And we're going to take the derivative of that. We'll be left with 3,000 uh, plus 9,000 being multiplied by uh, derivative of inside is 2x and power drops down. 10 squared becomes 100 plus x squared. And that is as much as you can do in terms of taking its derivative. The 2's cancel out and now we set to 0. And by setting it to 0 we're getting 3,000, negative 3,000 plus uh, 9,000x all over square root of 100 plus x squared. Okay, mm, we're still solving for x. That hasn't changed anything. So we're going to move 3,000 left of the equal sign. Actually, I'm going to keep it there. I'm going to move this term to the left of the equal sign, cancelling out the negatives. And I'm going to multiply each side by square root of 100 plus x squared. So we will then be left with 9,000x being equal to 3,000, 100 plus x squared. Okay, so at this point we're still solving for x. And my next step, I'm going to put 3,000 back inside the radical. Okay, putting it back inside the square root which means you're going to have to square it. So then you're left with a huge number, which would be 9 million, I believe. Yep, yep 9 million. So still being square rooted. You got 9 million. 100 plus x squared. And we're going to square each term. Cancelling out this uh, square root. So um, that's to the power half. And we're squaring that. Okay, so then when that when this all unfolds it becomes 81 million x squared being equal to 900 million what I'm doing is expanding out x squared now we can collect the x squared terms and solve for x. So then x squared will equal 1, 2, 3. All divided by 72. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So x squared will equal 12.5. x will equal 3.54 kilometers. That is the optimum distance. Okay. So what that means from point B to point C is 3.54 kilometers. And the remainder from C to D will be 50. Take away that. So from point D, you're going to have approximately uh, 46 meters under land and the remaining under the sea so but that's not our answer uh, b 
because there's no other variable we need to calculate, we can jump straight to answering the question, which refers back to our cost function. So the cost will equal 150,000 being 3,000x plus 9,000. 100 plus x squared, uh, putting all that, putting uh, 3.54 where x is, and we know x squared to be 12.5. The cost will equal 234,839.42. We'll just say roughly 234,900. Approximately that. So, and that's how you would answer the refinery question. Thank you very much.